half of his rainbow. Let's look closely. Where is the other half of the rainbow? We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah, lo hicimos! We did it! We all jumped to help Gus over the mountain. We did it! We did it! You did it! Hooray! Then we gave instruments to... Hey everybody, this is Corey Salter Chief Floyd for Mary Media. And I'm at Fair Expo with Kathleen, but some of y'all might know her as... Dora the Explorer! <laughs> <laughs> Hola! How are you doing today? I'm doing great! I'm here at Van Expo Philly, and I've, this is my first time, so I'm so excited to be here and meet all of the fans. How does it feel to be, a, to be part of, I mean, such a long-running show? Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. I started when I was seven years old, um, and I did it for 10 years. And now that I'm a lot older, <laughs> it's amazing to relive um, that part of my life and to really understand the impact that Dora and the show had. It's truly incredible. I'm honored and blessed to have been a part of it. Now, the funny thing is, a lot of folks who are in the business very early, by the time they're an adult, they really don't remember much. So it seems like you have a pretty decent memory of your childhood. Yeah, I mean, um, when the show aired, I was 10 years old. So I would like to think my memory was starting to get better at that age. But um, yeah, I have a pretty good sense of it. My mom is also a really good resource to like fact check all these things that I think I remember. But yeah, I look back at photos and videos. Um, there are a lot of things I don't remember. We don't have a lot of footage of me in the booth, which I wish we had more of. But back then, we didn't really carry cameras and our phones didn't have cameras. So it was just harder Different to do. Time. Different times. Yeah, and it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, different times. All right, so Dora has even made it to the big screen. So yes. when you got when you when you heard about that, how did you feel? Like what? Yeah, I was a little um I didn't know how to feel about it because I mean I know everyone loves Dora, so like of course why not do a live action film? And um I don't know. I watched it and I loved it. I think they did a really good job um with the movie and how they played, you know, and they joked around with her a little bit, the jokes that they made. I thought it was really clever and cute. So I approve. <laughs> How do you feel about the cultural impact of Dora the Explorer? Because that show alone, a yeah. lot of younger schools started introducing Spanish to kids at a younger age. Yeah, I mean, it's truly incredible. I mean, as I, like I said before, when I was young, I didn't really understand the impact the show had um, for the Latino community and for everyone, for schools and for teaching Spanish to kids. Um, I mean, it's, you can see it, it also paved the way for other children's programs to be more diverse and to show and teach of other cultures. It's, it's really amazing. All right. Yeah. Top five movies. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we don't have to be of all time. <laughs> Just your top five right now. All right. Well, my top, I think, would have to be the Lord of the Rings saga. I mean, all of them are amazing. Um, second one... Probably The Little Mermaid. That's my favorite um, Disney princess. Have you had a chance to, to meet her? Not yet. <laughs> I'm excited to meet her though. She's close by. She's a little down there. Um, what else? Ooh, top five. Hmm. Why not? Let's put the Dora movie up there just because <laughs> I have to. I have to. Um, and then, let's see. Ooh, I don't know. I have some classics back there. Jurassic Park always gets That's me. I love it. One. It's always a good one. Um, oh, um, I have a few. The Goonies I love a Ooh. lot. That's a good one. And that's a another classic. classic. You know that's a board oh, game? Oh, you know, is it? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I loved Leonardo DiCaprio a lot when in his early years. There was a movie, it was called um, Man in the Iron Mask. Ooh. I don't know if, I mean, incredible. I, he did an amazing he job. He played the good guy and the bad guy. Yes, he did. It was amazing. Yeah. Those are my top five. All right. <laughs> well, that was our time here today. We want to thank you again thank for showing up. This is Corey Sucksy Floyd at Fan Expo signing out.